that okay? Is that better? Okay. So you can manipulate the music in three ways. You can either bend it up or down to change the direction in which the melody is going. And then you can also twist it to change the tension of the melody, of the music, so it's, cha cha it's changing the harmony. And the notes adapt themselves to the, the kind of tension that you want to convey in this. So right now, this is hooked up to me. It's listening to my voice and watching my movement, so it's reacting as I sing. But also as I move and even breathe. So basically, um, this uh, machine uh, allows you to like explore what the sound comes from everyday objects, and then the combination of these uh, everyday objects to create different kind of rhythm. One of the reasons I love being here at the Media Lab and love doing this kind of work is that if you if you kind of put your finger on a good enough idea and turn it into something real, the chances are incredibly good that it's going to end up flowering in a way that you didn't expect. We made this hyperscore software for kids, and it turns out that it's useful for all kinds of people who wouldn't ordinarily be able to make their own music. It opens doors. I mean, music is such a powerful um, personal experience for people, and the fact that most people, even if they have some relationship to music, it's usually not a creative relationship. And so somebody like Dan Elsie, who nobody had never taken music lessons, you know, he has trouble, you know, he can only speak through his speech interface. Um, nobody had ever asked him if he wanted to make music. So when he came to our workshop, it turned out he was passionate about music and he had a million things he wanted to do. So he already had a lot of ideas. F E Y Hi, my name is Dan Elsie. And my name is Ellen McManus. I'm an expressive therapist here at Tewksbury Hospital and I've known Dan for the last nine years. Thank you.